Here we go! We're feeling very gay because it's almost time to play! Grab your favorite chair with a lucky PS! Yes! All right, guys, welcome back to the Lucky Pierre's. Tonight we got another top five for you with our special guest, Sophia. <laughs> and tonight's top five is top five sequels of all time. Okay, guys, top five sequels. Who wants to go first? Go ahead, Joe. I'll go first. Wait, we didn't do a movie quote after Texas Chainsaw. You're right. Good, good call. So do you want to we'll, film it after this? We'll do it after that. Oh. We'll, cut, we'll just pause and then... Okay, top five sequels. Who wants to go first? I'll go. Okay. I just went with the... Obviously, the top five sequels for me, like all time, that I think were the best. The Our first came to mind without okay. really much research. Okay. Yeah, these... these. Let's just make a if clear that these lists are our favorites. Yeah. yeah Usually, our, yeah. Yeah, so what do you think, Joe? I started with Terminator 2, which I'm sure... You guys had on your list because that was the one that I said I was probably going to use, even if both of you mentioned it. Yeah, because it literally should be on anybody yeah. who's watching this or like we know it should be on their list because it is by far better than the first one. It's arguably the greatest sequel of all time. But normally, what I do is I say something different just for variety, right? You yeah, know, because it's to more do entertaining in the video yeah. watcher for the video yeah, watcher. That's why okay. I wanted to go first to get these out of the way. <laughs> yeah, that's why I, I, said, I wanted you. Yeah. I wanted you to go first. <laughs> all right. Next list we make, I'll make some extras, but for me, I feel like I went with Godfather 2. Okay. That's not on Because, my list. I mean, it's so freaking good after you, the first Godfather. If you guys like, want to go see that, we're, uh, tomorrow is when we're going. Oh, yeah. So great. Uh, what, what's, what do you announce, Joe? Third one for me is The Dark Knight, which I, I'm... Yep. I love the Nolan Batman so much. They're great. I thought after... I feel like that one, though, is so much better than... Obvi the first Nolan one because that's the second Nolan which is, one, right? Yeah, yeah, which is crazy because I thought Batman Begins was super good. It was like it was really good. Such a different take on Batman than the before what you saw, which right. was like kind of slapstick and yeah. just goofy, more like comic. Jim Carrey, more and, comic. -y. This yeah. was more based in the real world, right? And it was and just it just took it to a whole other level. Gnarly. The way Nolan makes movies is so impressive. It's all practical, you know. Even for impractical ideas, he'll do it, practical stuff. Yeah, there's so many insanely good lines in that movie, and just so many good shots. And, and the, Heath Ledger, the score, just Ledger, yeah. unbelievable. The score, like, yeah, the score crazy. is unbelievable. Everything about it just next perfect. Level. Yeah, it really is one of the perfect, most perfect movies. And then for me, I have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Wow. I did not expect that. That's yeah. a great one. I, I kind of did. That's yeah, great. I, mean, that I watch movie's, it every year because it's, it's so freaking good. It's so great outside of Christmas <laughs> even. It's so great. It wouldn't even really be considered a sequel usually, but it's, it is a sequel. Yeah, that's a good one. National Lampoon's Vacation. And then I put Bad Boys 2. Yeah. Okay. Because the original Bad Boys is great. Bad Boys 2 is so much better. It's, you ain't seen Bad Boys 2. Yeah, it's, it's so good. <laughs> All right, that's a great list. All right, I'll, what do you think, Sean? All right, go I'll ahead. go next. All right, first I got – I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so yeah. I got Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. That's my favorite out of all the movies. It's so epic. One of the most epic movies I've ever seen in my life, and it's just one of my favorite movies of all time. And then the next I have Aliens. Aliens, another James Cameron sequel. He I'd, knows I'd how to do sequels, that. man. Uh, action-packed it, it first one's more horror yeah. aliens goes for more action horror and it's just so good yeah. and then next i got a james bond movie my favorite james bond movie of all time casino royale it's the best james bond movie in my opinion the first one with daniel craig some of the best action sequences one of the best scenes in james bond history the poker scene where he dies mid poker game he goes out to his car and like revives himself and goes back in like nothing happened but uh I love that movie. That's a great sequel. How about Jackass 2? Another one. <laughs> great one, yeah. <laughs> Jackass 2 that's is that's one of my... Wild, wild card pick. One of my... I would say... One of my best ex theater experiences of all time. Like, the, the theater was full. That's the most gnarly Jackass movie. They're doing the most insane stunts. We've seen that with our buddy Travis and Cole. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And then, like multiple times during the movie there was people standing up like oh it was just it's one of the best theater experiences i've ever had that was it's such a fun movie and a great sequel and then lastly i have so many options that i could choose from but just for variety i'm gonna go with pirates of the caribbean dead man's chest oh, nice. i really love that movie you got davy jones in there yeah johnny depp at his peak as jack sparrow orlando bloom Kira knightley and it's just 
just so fun. They are just fun movies. Just very sure. fun and a great sequel. And the effects are so fun. And the locations, you got like islands. It's just that tropical. Is that the one where thing. they fight on the wheel and stuff? The like, wheel, yeah. and then they have the they go to that island that like gets sunk sinks it at night. You know, oh, like, yeah, yeah. Lo- yeah. So fun. It's just so just fun. Cool effects. And uh, all right, that's my list. What do you think, Shaw? Okay, uh, I'll put go first with one that I don't think anybody here would have picked. Short Circuit Two. <laughs> I love it though. Which nice. is so much better than the original because I made Sophia watch Short Circuit with me, and like I have I've, I haven't watched it since I was like a kid, and I was so excited for her to watch it. And then I we watched it, and I was like, "Motherfucker, everything I remember is from Short yeah, Circuit." Yeah, there's two. parts you thought were in the first and it's one. It's so much fucking better. Yeah. Is the it? The second one is so much. I better. gotta rewatch them. I think I've only seen the first. Dude, no, the no, second you've probably one. Seen the second have one. I? Oh, yeah. the second one. He has, sings the song like. Kick your balls into outer space when Los he joins Lobos. like the Latino street gang. <laughs> that's that yeah. one. Yeah, that's Lobos, two. Yeah. I do yeah, remember that. Yeah. Dude, Los that's Lobos. two. Yeah. Right. Two is so good. All right. And then, so I broke them up into like better than the original, as good as the original, and then all good. Yeah. So then next, Silence of the Lambs technically is a sequel to Manhunter, mm-hmm. and I think it's much better. Mm-hmm. Uh, Manhunter is a very good movie, but like some of it is just. Um, like some of it is almost made for TV ish, like the main characters acting like when he's chasing the serial killer and is like, "You did this, didn't you?" Ah! And like punches like papers off his desk and it stuff. It does seem a bit, I guess, dated. I don't know if it's yeah, the right word, but it's just overact- very uh, yeah. odd. Yeah, and like how he reacts to things, but like, and then obviously Hannibal Lecter and Buffalo Bill like. Take it over the you top. Can't, you can't, you top can't beat that. Anthony Hopkins as as Hannibal Lecter and I mean, Buffalo Bill. That that's such a creepy a character. Great character, yeah. And then one, I'm surprised you didn't pick uh, A Quiet Place Two. Really good. Was you said better than the original? I think it's as good as. I think it is. And then um, all good like Predators, Predator Two, <laughs> and even the Predator, the new one, not like the one that's coming out, the one that was Danny McBride. I thought were great sequels and like they're all neither one of them are better than the original but all of the predators are good they're good yeah and then evil dead and army of darkness evil dead 2 yeah evil dead 2 and army of darkness and then evil dead are all good like i wouldn't say evil dead 2 is better than the original because i love the original and it's almost just a retelling of it and i don't like the setup as much but obviously the effects and like everything is Evil Dead Two better. takes it to a ten, you know. Yeah. I mean, like as far as ridiculousness goes and gore and, and Army of Darkness, is just funner. It's just a fun movie, super fun. It incorporates comedy more. So wait, one, two. Three. I think I think you had five, five then, to ten. But then one that I'm sad I couldn't put on the list because I have not watched it yet, but I know it's going to be there. Soccer Dog European Cup. <laughs> Because I got, I bought Soccer Dog at a Salvation Army, yeah. and I watched it the other day, and that movie is fucking good. <laughs> that movie Make sure you put the quotes up on that. I don't have to put the quote on that. And one. I bought a dual box, like one and two together on Amazon that was I'm supposed sorry. to be here by today. <laughs> I mean, the most expensive part was the shipping. <laughs> But it was supposed to be here by today, and it did not show up. There's just so many but, copies being shipped out; they so, couldn't get yours fast enough. Really. <laughs> Soccer Dog one on its own going to hank oh nice the most expensive part should be for them paying you to watch it that should be the most expensive Dude, part. the first one i think you should watch it <laughs> I, I, I might check it out sometime when like, I'm 150. It, it's very it, it's very dated but like so mu- it's so good i'll check it out someday <laughs> all right we got a special guest sophia here she's got to pick her favorite or one of her favorite sequels of all time just one more yeah, what, 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 which, yeah, you have one, you said. <laughs> what, what, what is the one? <laughs> Gets legit angry. No, you want to do five? You can do as yeah, many. Yeah, I want to do five. Okay, you can do as many as you want. Yeah. Okay. Make the video way harder for me to edit. All right. Awesome Powers, <laughs> The Spy Who Shagged Me. Nice, yes. that's a good one. Second one. Get closer. There we go. Is this, is this too close? <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> that's why I always put my face on it. I always yelled it that I'm not close enough. <laughs> Okay. That's a great Land one. Land Before Time 2. Okay. I remember watching those as a kid. Those are great. I don't know why, but I loved the second oh, one. Oh, yeah. There's like 15 now, but yeah. <laughs> Littlefoot and what's the pterodactyl's name? Terry? Petey, right? Petey. Petey. Like P-E-T. Just took a shot with Terry. Pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> I like Terry. It. Yeah. No, what What else, Sophia? What else you got on that list? Another dinosaur movie, Jurassic Park, but yeah. Jurassic World. Jurassic World. That's the a good one. one. Yeah. Yes. You're talking about Jurassic World 
uh, Fallen Kingdom? Or no, just... Just Jurassic World. Jurassic World. The one that came out in 1993 or 6 or something. No, you're talking about Lost World. Mm, Lost? No, we'll Lost... Look it up. Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Lost World, right? Yeah, I think it was Maybe. Lost World. Yeah, Lost World. That's the second one. But yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, that is a good one. No, it's My fine. My three. It's, okay, yeah. And then... Hmm. I gotta think. <laughs> I had them... In my brain. Do any of these do anything for you? There's some on the back, too. Goldfinger. <laughs> oh, Harry Potter. Which one? Oh, yeah. There's, there's some good ones. Any of the ones after the first? Just saying. They're good. Yeah, a lot a lot of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, none specific, it's, you know, in particular. Uh, what was my other movie? Oh, The Princess Diaries 2. Okay. One of my faves. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> I've never seen like, any of them. The first one is probably better, but the second one is so funny. <laughs> I'll put those on the watch list. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a girls' night. Yay! <laughs> That's like one of the scariest things. <laughs> Why yeah. are you going to come too? Yeah. We can watch Princess Diaries, Princess Diaries 2, and then we'll watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> oh, I was going to say Awesome Powers. Oh, yeah. All right. And what you got? I think you got one more. I can't think of anything else. I think that was five. Yeah. It might have been five. Okay. All right. So great lists. I mean, uh, thank you. <laughs> great lists. I love them all. I love all the movies. Be ready for Soccer Dog European Cup. Next list. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting together and watching it when I get it in the mail. Yeah, let's do it. Never. <laughs> all right, guys. That's our top five sequels. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Sophia. Yeah. And we love you, and we'll see you very, very... Pretty, pretty soon. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. All right. We'll see you soon.